A Taiwan research lab has announced encouraging results in its work on an experimental COVID vaccine. It's called a DNA vaccine, and after it's administered, the patient's own cells start to produce small amounts of the pathogen to trigger an immune response. DNA vaccines are very much a technology in development and none have been licensed for human use so far. But scientists say their DNA-based candidate proved exceptionally potent in animal trials. They hope to start phase one clinical trials by the end of the year. This fully automated fermentation tank is hard at work. Its contents turn like a whirlpool as a researcher watches data unfold in a computer screen. Here at the National Health Research Institute, scientists are on the quest for a COVID vaccine. DNA vaccines are produced using microorganisms, mainly. With microorganisms, there's an upstream fermentation process involved. That enhances microbial growth. Working flat out around the clock, researchers have made considerable progress in vaccine research and development. The DNA vaccines are one of this industry's most important delivery platform technologies in recent years. Especially in the context of sudden outbreaks, DNA vaccines really shine because they can be rapidly deployed in clinical trials. The research center has chosen DNA vaccines for its COVID program, mainly because its production can be scaled up rapidly. It's a path less taken in Taiwan's race for a vaccine, but it could pay off in a big way. When comparing with other vaccines, our finding is that DNA vaccines produce the most potent immune response. We're currently in the production process. We expect that very soon, at the end of the year, we hope to be able to enter phase one clinical trials. The vaccine candidate is set to enter human trials by the end of the year, according to the National Health Research Institutes. But there are high regulatory thresholds for vaccines and a long gamut of rigorous testing is ahead. The vaccine is unlikely to reach the market before June 2021.